The topic for my talk is a phony flow composite multi-echo SMS sequence, the effects of acceleration and background field on flow composition. The first part we want to present is the technical answer for our paper. Although SMS has been around for a long time, the flexibility behind multi-echo flow composition was not discussed. In addition, the effects of background field were not considered when assessing the robustness of the message. Therefore, we undertook this change because we felt that having a robust double echo SWI would be very important for stroke and TBI studies. So, we developed a phony flow composite straight multi echo GI sequence with all echoes being independently flow composited. The images on this slide were scanned using our phony flow composite double echo sequence. The left column are images with echo time to be 7.5 milliseconds, and the right column are images with echo time to be 17.5 milliseconds. From the images, you can find that the artery is bright and at the right location without shift. So this is a phony flow composite double echo sequence. In this study, we also want to complete the following tasks simultaneously in one scan, such as MRA, SWI, QSM, and T2 star mapping. The shown images on the slide were scanned using our flow composite multi echo sequence in one scan. The another aim for our paper is to understand the effects of background fields on flow composition. SWI uses face images to enhance the contrast of eye laden tissues and veins. However, if the arteries generate artificial face, then this may produce false enhancement in the SWI data. This is why 3D full flow compensation is typically required. However, when there are background fields, there may be artificial face in the arteries, even with the first order flow compensation gradients. Our goal is to understand the effects of background, background fields on flow compensation and to suppress the artificial phase associated with arteries. The first row are images at echo time to be 70.5 milliseconds. You can find that the phase induced by acceleration from the right wing. The second row are MIP SWI images with and without artery suppression. Through comparing to these two images on the second row, you can find that without separation of the arteries phase, force enhancement of the arteries can be seen in the original SMI images. It's a sequence diagram for our phony flow composite double echo sequence. The zeros and the first order gradient moments for each echo are zero, and the flow compensation gradient for each echo are independent. So the gradient required for this process can be demanding and limit the potential echo times. Nevertheless, we are able to image with echo times as short as 7.5 milliseconds and have the second echo time as short as 70.5 milliseconds, which are good trust for study thrombus and microbnets. From this slide, we begin to discuss the clinical importance for our new sequence. Besides the clinical use for the traditional SWI sequence, we can also image the vessel in the arthros process. Because the arteries in the short echo images have no shift for the use of the flow compensation in the phase encoding and the partition encoding directions, we are able to see the AVS rules and we can also study a source crosses of the middle several arteries. Our new phony flow compensate sequence can also be used to assess these changes in oxygen saturation, thrombosis, and several microbnets. In this example, there is a complete blockage of the right MCA because of a thrombosis. This is clearly shown on the short echo SMI images with no veins visible and on the susceptibility map. The non echo SMI image shows the thrombus and the asymmetrical darkened veins due to snow flow in the affected, affected territory. 
Our new phony flow composite multi echo SWR sequence can offer the following abilities. First, it can image the arteries at short echo times and therefore obtain a MR angiogram as well as the URL SWR images. Second, it can view nice thrombosis separate from veins at short echo times. The third, it can create a MR venogram using the non echo data. The next one, it can quantify susceptibility without face artifacts from arteries. Thanks.